In today's video, we will create this very realistic VHS effect. This will also work in Unreal Engine 4, but I will do it in Unreal Engine 5. So, let's start. So what we can do first is to create this 4.3 aspect ratio to get that VH uh, VHS uh, camera because all of the VHS back in the days were 4.3 aspect ratio. So how to do this? Well, we go into the first person, blueprint, BP first person character, or whatever you named it. Then we go to viewport, click on the camera, and click on the constrain aspect ratio and set it to 4.3. Uh, now if we compile and save and test it out, you can see that we have a 4.3 aspect ratio and that it's one step closer to the VHS effect. Now go into the BP first person character again and we can click on the camera and change the field of view. Because the field of view right now is very much for a VHS camera, so I will set the field of view to around 65 to 80 or 65 to 70. 60 to 70 should work. And now, you can see that the camera is much more zoomed in, like a real VHS camera. As you can see. Now, we want to add the blur. So, if we play right now, you can see that the VHS camera is very sharp. It's like 4K. And it's a VHS camera, it's old, it needs to, it needs to be a uh, kind of low resolution. So we need to add that blur to get the realistic look. So. We want to create a new user widget, so right click, user interface, widget blueprint, user widget, and call it blur VHS. Now go into the blur VHS, just like that. Then we want to add a blur, so search right here for blur, background blur, so just drag that right in here. And uh, you see this little arrow right here? Well, you can drag that to see the whole screen. So if someone has a 4K screen, they will also see the blur effect. So drag that right out to 4K. Now compile and save. Now we want to click on the background blur and change the blur strength to about 1.5. Should be good. So now you can see that it is blurry right here in the box and right here it is not blurry. So compile and save and close that out. So now, how do we add this blur effect to the camera when we play the game? Well, click on these icons right up here. Then click on open level blueprint. So open level blu blu blueprint. So this, the codes we do in here will only affect this level. So right click and get the event begin play. So begin play is when we uh, click on the play button and we play it will uh, uh, play this event that you play now drag out of the execution pin and create widget so what this will do is that it will create the widget we just made so search for a blur vhs right here then we want to add it to the viewport so we can actually see it so add to viewport just like that Compile and save and test it out. Now you can see it already looks uh, very realistic, like a VHS kind of look, and we haven't even done that much yet. So this is a very good start. So now, if we look around like this, you can see that the camera is very jaggy, it doesn't feel like we are holding a VHS camera, and when we, when we walk, it doesn't feel smooth. But if you like the camera, uh, when we look around and when we walk, you don't need to change this. So we can just uh, skip this part. But if you want a most the most realistic look for a VHS effect, you need to follow these uh, steps. So what we want to do is to go into the BP first person character again. We want to go to the viewport, click on the first person camera, and we want to add a spring arm. So spring arm, and then we want to drag the spring arm onto the first person camera, so we unparent it, and then drag the first person camera onto the spring arm. So the spring arm will uh, parent the first person camera. So now we want to untick do collision test right here. So click on the spring arm and untick this value and change the target arm length to zero. Compile and save. 
So what we do now is that you can see that the pivot on the spring arm is right here. So when we look down in the game, the camera will go down like this and clip through the wall. And we don't want that. So just change the location of the spring arm to 60 because the height of the camera is 60 and then drag the camera down to 60 as well. So now you can see that the exact pivot is on the both. So when we look down now, it doesn't clip through the wall. Next, click on the spring arm and click use pawn control rotation. Then go to the first picture camera and untick the use pawn control rotation right here. So this will make that the spring arm will control the first picture camera or like the spring arm will control the uh, looking around and all that stuff. Then we want to scroll down on the spring arm. So click on the spring arm and scroll down to lag. And we want to enable camera lag and enable camera rotation lag. So the camera lag speed is when we walk forward, it uh, smoothly works forward. So it isn't that like draggy when we walk forward. So, so change the camera lag speed to about 5. I think it's nice to have 5 for the VHS effect, but you can change this value as you want. And the camera rotation lag speed is when we look around, so it is much more smooth when we look around. So change the camera rotation lag speed to about, uh, let's say, 10. It can be on 10, the default value. Compile and save and test it out. Now you can see when we look around, it is more smooth, and when we walk, it is also more smooth. So now we want to add the dirty camera lens. So if we look at the bright object, you can see that the camera on the VHS lens uh, will be dirty. So like it's a real VHS camera because the lens on the camera won't always be this clean. The last video I did was a tutorial on this. So if you want a more in-depth exp explanation on it, you can check that video out. But we can do it very quick and easy right here. So. What you want to do is to go to create a new folder called images, but I already have one. Then we want to create a new folder in the images called dirt lens. Then add a, a lens dirt texture. And you can do that by just searching on your browser, search for dirty camera lens texture. Uh, right here. So this one will work, so it needs to be black in the background and the particles need to be white. So choose whichever you want, I'm using this one right here. So then just download the image and, and then import the image to Unreal Engine 5. So now add a post process volume. So how do we do this? Well click on this icon right here and search for post process volume right here. I, I already have one, so I won't need to uh, do that. So then click on the posters volume and search for unbound and tick the infinite extent unbound. So this will affect the whole level, not, uh, not uh, the box, only the box. Now click on this X, X right here. Now we want to scroll down on the post process until we see dirt mask. Then you want to check this box on all of the three and you want to add the texture we just imported to the material right here then change the dirt mask intensity to about eight you can increase it or decrease it and the dirt mask tint is whichever color you want it to be so i want it to be a very white uh, bright so now you can see that we see the uh, uh, dirty lens effect but we only want it to appear when we look at a bright object so, go up to Bloom and click this Intensity box and the Threshold. Now, drag the Threshold up. And now, when we look at the bright object, the Dirt Lens will appear. So, if we play, you can see that the Dirt Lens works as it should. So, what we do now is to create the sharpen 
So as you can see now, the image is very soft and the old VHS camera, uh, the image was very blurry and very more, uh, very sharp. So let's do that right now. So how to do that? Well, create a new material, call it sharpen M for material. Then go, then go into the material and we want to set the material domain to post process. Now what you want to do is to go down into the description and click on the link. So the link will take you right here. So what you want to do is to just highlight all of the code and control C. So copy it and then we want to minimize and go into the uh, uh, material again and control V. So now you can see that the code is already done for us. So just plug the add into the emissive color and apply and save. Now we can close out of this and we want to right click on the material and create a material instance. Now go into the instance and tick this box right here and change the value to about 9. I think that 9 is great for me. So save and close out. But you can change the values in here how much you want. So now click on the post post volume in your level and then search for material. Then click on this arrow right here. Click on the plus and choose the asset reference. And then we want to search for the sharpen instance we just made. So sharpen M instance. So now you can see that the sharpen affects the whole level. So if we play now, you can see that it looks much better. It looks more sharp, like a VHS camera. But you can play around with the values in here. What we want to do next is to add the film grain, so it looks more grainy, the image. So click on the X right here to clear the search bar, and search for film grain. And click on this box right here, film grain intensity, and change the value to 1. Then go down to the film grain pixel size and what this will do is that it will change the size of the film grain. And I want it to be like that. So now we have the film grain. So if we play, you can see that we have the film grain right here. Just like that. So now we added the film grain. But you can change around all of these values right here to get the perfect film grain for your game. What we want to do next is to add the chromatic aberration. So, you want to search for, uh, in the post process volume, you want to search for the chromatic aberration and tick these two boxes. And we want to change the values. So, as you can see, this is too much chromatic aberration. But I think, right there, looks good. And the start offset can be zero. So, now if we play. So, now you can see that we have the chromatic aberration. So now we have a very realistic VHS camera. But we have one thing left to do and that is the uh, lens distortion of the camera. So let's do that right now. I already have a video on how to make the lens distortion and that video I will uh, put the image right here. So go into the video and uh, create the lens distortion I made in that video. Now after you watch the video and created the same material as I did in the bodycam video, you want to go into the uh, post process instance and you want to change the values right here. And these are the values I use for the VHS camera. So you can copy these values if you want to or make your own. Then you want to add the distortion to the post process volume. So, go into the post process volume and search for material. Then add a array element and choose the asset reference. And then take your distortion. So, search for the distortion right here that you have. And now, once we added the lens distortion, we can test it out. And boom, it looks very good. But I think that the lens distortion is maybe a bit too much, so let's change that very quickly. So go into your lens distortion 
and change the values as you want. Now these are the values I ended up with, so copy them if you want to. Now save and now we have a complete VHS camera. So if you like this video please leave a like or if you have any problems just leave a comment in the comment section below and don't forget to join the discord the link is in the description of this video so yeah that is how to create a very realistic uh, vhs camera yeah that's all